Hello everyone on this side and uh, today we are going to start with our new topic uh, what we call as a row id and row number this is very important topic for, as per uh, performance tuning because uh, we have to uh, identify what is the uh, row id and row number how to uniquely identify a particular row so for that we have this concept called row id and row number <laughs> so first of all uh, let me uh, tell you one thing that in the database each row has a unique address so you can note it down that each row has a unique address so you have worked on multiple uh, tables right like emp table uh, department table bonus table and multiple tables but in that table you didn't find any row in the id or row number column specifically but still this row id and row number is there which uniquely identifies the rows so you can say that okay this is a unique address for each individual rows so the row id is acting as a pseudo column pseudo column for each column right for each column uh, for each row it is a pseudo column suppose uh, we have a emp table with uh, three columns like id name salary and uh, date so we have multiple rows inside it and the rows can be uh, uniquely identifiable or it can not be uniquely identifiable identifiable depending on the constraints if you have a duplicate rows say id1 and id1 and you want to delete a particular row right including id1 so if you will fire delete command where id equal to 1 so the data which is present uh, corresponding to the duplicate values will be deleted even the name will be different then also you will be able to uh, you can't store the data in that scenario the data will be deleted for both the rows to make it uniquely identifiable we have a pseudo column which is not visible to you guys but it is there in each table which is uniquely identifiable and uh, this column itself is known as pseudo column okay if you'll say okay how to um, work on this how to identify whether the row id uh, is there or not what is the row id for each individual row so for that we have a uh, uh, practical sessions in this suppose if you want to uh, connect with scott user and the password will be a tiger Uh, no longer connected to Oracle, so it's fine. Let me connect with HR user. Connect with uh, HR comma H slash H. It is also showing that uh, we are not able to connect to the Oracle. Okay, I think I got it. Dot or I N B. Dot C plus plus S. This DBA, we have PDBs inside it. So order session set container equal to prod PDB. Under this, uh, let me trigger. Uh, let me check uh, whether HR user is present or not. De select username, comma account status. from dba underscore users set line two hundred pages two hundred uh Scott or HR you are able to see here okay HR user is there right so under HR user what we want select star Okay. Uh, connect to HR user. Okay. It's still showing that we are not able to connect to this because it is invalid, showing invalid username or password. So under HR, you can see uh, see here that the account status is expired and locked. so what we have to do we have to open this account 
then only you can uh, access this so alter user hr identified by password account unlock now it is showing hr user is not exist why it is showing here we have the hr user in place let me connect with the uh, sh sql plus access db i think there is some issues with prod db um, connect with uh, hr slash hr or uh, the account is logged okay I will unlock the account first. I will use the same uh, query alter user username account unlock and uh, let me connect to HR user here. Yeah, we are connected. Check how many tables are there. Okay, done. I missed a star mark from tab. Okay, perfect. Okay, so I want to uh, check the uh, employee ID for this uh, jobs table. Okay, so first of all, let me check select staff from jobs. There is no uh, job uh, row ID uh, column existing in this uh, particular rows. So what I will do, I will just select say job ID comma job title comma if you want to see minimum salary also comma and mention row id if you will mention this is row id let's see what happens from jobs table look at the last you will be able to find the row id for each individual rows though this row id is not present in this column but it's a pseudo column and the each row is being uniquely identifiable look triple a a triple b b triple a c triple a d triple a e so even the data in job id and everything will be similar apart from that also you can delete the individual row on based on the row id so this is a very important concept row id and it has very very important significance also uh, in the interviews or in your practical aspects also you can uh, note it down the some of the important points like uh, this row id is the fastest way to access a single row it's the fastest way to access single row apart from that uh, apart from that you can say uh, uh -huh. you can say the row id can be used in select and where clause whenever you have to you are uh, you eager to use row id then remember you can use row id in the select statement and you can use even in uh, using the where clause okay apart from that you can say uh this row id value this is not stored at the db level row id is not stored at or in db in a database it's a pseudo and hypothetical column even you can say you can't find the values or uh, you can't uh, insert update delete the values of row id row id can't be changed it is a uniquely identifiable and suppose there can be a question that uh, if you have created a index if you have created an index what will happen to that uh, row id if you have created an index on a specific column what will happen 
So remember, in any of the column, if you will uh, create an index, even it is a bitmap index or B tree index, so the in the, the row ID which is stored uh, in the uh, in the pseudo column will be stored in the index. So even after creating an index, also the row ID still exists in that particular index. So this is the case uh, for the index uh, for the row ID and row ID for each table for each rows it is always present and it's a pseudo column. So this is all about row ID. If someone will ask you what uh, what is the implementation of row ID, so to identify a uh, duplicate rows if you want to delete some duplicate rows so you should remember that uh, duplicate rows can be deleted with the help of row id also you can differentiate it and with the help of row id uh, one can access the single row in the faster manner rather than uh, accessing the full uh, uh, rows with the unique uh, with the uh, duplicate values Apart from that, coming to row number, row number is also a very important concept. So in row number, what happens for each rows which is returned by the query, row number is also a pseudo column, which is which, uh, uh, let me let me show you first, then we'll explain about this. Suppose in this uh, table also, we don't have any row number, right? And uh, someone said to you that, okay, we have 1 billion of records. But uh, I want to see uh, uh, the top 10 records, okay, based on the row number. So what you can do, select star from uh, the table name, say jobs. Where you should use row num and row num is less than 3, semicolon enter. So what you are seeing here, you are getting the value of top two row numbers, right? Top two. If row number is less than three, that means it will show the top two values. If you'll use row number uh, greater than or less than uh, say five. So look, it will show the four uh, values uh, which is less than five. So this is the benefit of row number. So it is a pseudo column and the row number of the records can be used in the order by clause. Okay. If you are doing some order by operations and you have the data inside the table in a huge amount, right? One billions of records are there and you want to uh, delete some of the records. So you can do it with the help of the row ID number, uh, row number concept. So uh, we have one uh, case scenarios in this row number. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, row number. Okay. So suppose uh, I have a table. Okay. And on that table, I have one uh, thirteen lakhs uh, twenty uh, one lakh thirty two thousand six eighty two records. And someone said me that uh, go and delete the records, but not complete records. If you have to delete the records, then you can do truncate or you can do delete command, right? But someone asked me that delete the values, delete the data, storing or keeping six day data in hand. That means six digit minus six. You should store six days data and the rest data you should delete it. So what to do? So as a DBA, the best practice is to uh, uh, take the tables data as a backup and then you can proceed with the deletion. It's a best practice for a DBA. So we can use CTAS also create table as uh, the select command, right? Apart from that, if CTAS is not working as the table size is very huge and you don't have a uh, storage entity in place. So you can take the export backup also. It's fine. So the question is, these many records are there and these records consist of one month of data. 
वन मंथ ऑफ काउंट इज वन लैक थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स एटी टू एंड द एप्लीकेशन टीम इज सेंग दैट वी हैव अ मेमरी वी हैव अ स्टोरेज कॉन्स्टेंट सो ट्राई टू डिलीट ऑल द डेटा कीपिंग सिक्स डेट सिक्स डेज प्रेजेंट डेटा इन हैंड सो वट टू डू टेकिंग द बैकअप एंड देन यू शुड डिलीट ऑल द डेटा विद द हेल्प ऑफ रो नंबर लुक delete from table where file uh, delete from the tables and the data what you want to delete using sys state minus 6 and row number is less than 10000 why i am using row number less than 10000 because this data will be deleted on the chunks first 10000 data will be deleted again 10000 data will be deleted again 10000 data will be deleted you have to trigger retrigger this delete command multiple times so if 10 10000 data will be deleted so what happens here 1000 1 lakh 32000 uh, data is there for deleting 1 lakh 32000 data you have to trigger this command for the 13 times right if you are using a uh, row number less than 2 20000 then you have to use this command lesser time right so what this command is doing this is deleting the data right but using the row number that means what it will delete the first 20000 data then again it will delete the 20000 data that means it's deleting in chunks so this is the benefit of uh, row number using row number even you can use this row number in the deletion in the updation okay but row id you can't use in the deletion and updation you have to use in the select query so this is the basic difference between row id and row number I hope uh, everyone got this point about uh, row number and uh, row ID. So this is it for today, and uh, we'll meet in the next session regarding uh, row chaining and row migration. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.